Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to HD Gaming. And today we are doing a tutorial on how to make a cheat code center in RPG Maker VX Ace. Alright, so first off, you need to have a little area for your player. Now go into your database. Database. Now go to your items. <clears throat> in items, you'll usually have a bunch of um You'll usually have a bunch of um, pre-rendered items, but I kind of cleared that out for the tutorial. But you want to have, it doesn't matter what number it is, but you want to have an item called note. Now icon, the little letter right here, this. And now put there, in the description there is a letter. There is a number on it. It reads 9142. Now it don't have to be this cheat it don't have to be this cheat code. It can be um, any cheat code you really want. So it don't have to actually be 9142. So it can be any cheat code you want. Now you need to change it from item to key item, item type to key item, scope, none, occasion, only from the menu, consume, no. And then have animation, none, success 100%, and now you need to have um, the damage clear and the effects clear. Hit OK. And now, time to actually get into the nitty gritty. So, create an event. Name the event Note. Change the graphic. Alright. Change the graphic. Other three. And there should be a note around here somewhere. Right here. The letter. Now, contents, which is the command, do show text command, make it say there is a note on the ground, or something like that, and you can even preview it, see how it looks, and now show choices command, make it say take, or don't take. I'll keep the rest the same. Now make it when take. To change items. Increase one. All right. So and now select note. Hit operation increase constant one. Hit OK. And then under that. Oh, I forgot. You want to turn walking animation off and direction fix so so yeah and now make a command that says control switches name the switch note on you have to create you actually have to create the switch you can just hit this and create it there but i already had this pre-created because i literally have recorded this tutorial like six times now Create new event page. Switch note is on. So if you have multiple switches, because this isn't a game that you've been working on for a while, all you got to do is just select note. Make trigger auto run. Walking animation off. Now keep the rest empty. Now that's all right for that so keep that the same now go over to another spot on your map or it don't have to be even on the same map it can be on a different map and create a new event call it code now graphic make it a switch don't really matter what switch you use i always use this one but yeah just some kind of switch, and if you imp and you can import your own graphic from online if you want to. And now hit show text. 
insert cheat code. You can preview it, insert cheat code. Okay. And now, <clears throat> input number. Now create a variable called code. Now, digits four. Okay. Or however, ever, or however many digits your cheat code is. But I will warn you, it needs to be, I will warn you, it's better to be more than four. So people can't, so it'll be um, the more combinations that people will have to try. And now hit con conditional branch, select variable, and then select the code variable is equal to constant of, and then your cheat code, 9142. Hit OK. And then what this means is if it is equal, then this happens, but if it's not, this happens. So if it is equal, then hit recover all, entire party, OK. Select another event line, and then select change experience, and then make it the max. Nine 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 nine. Show level up message. And now reco and now recover all again. Okay. And then when else, when it's not equal, put in valid cheat code. Try again. And then you can preview it, invalid cheat code, try again. Okay. And there, that's really it. Now if you play test the game, <clears throat> it's really simple. Okay. Go over here, get the item. Okay. Go into item. The ID on it, there's a number on it, it's 9142. Go over to the cheat box, enter a cheat code. I'm just gonna enter a random code. Invalid cheat code, try again, flip it, 9. And now, if you actually do put in the right cheat code, Eric is now level 99, and then it tells you, actually, it'll say whatever name you make them. You can see level 99, max HP, max magic power. And yeah, level 99 is the max level you can go. So yeah, that is how you create a little cheat code box. And if you want to have multiple cheat codes in your game, then you have, then all you gotta do is pretty much just do the same thing over and over again, but use different codes. Well guys, that concludes this video, and I'll see you back here next time on HD Gaming. Adios amigos, God bless, and